War Diary Day, 544 of Russia's war against Ukraine. It's a beautiful day here in Taras Shevchenko Park. Um, look around, if I do a 360, you see that uh, crossing there, that's where the Russians put a cruise missile in October the 10th last year, killing five people, including um, a wonderful woman doctor uh, whose daughter was orphaned. So it's a beautiful summer's day in Kyiv and uh, the war continues. On Thursday, it's Ukrainian Independence Day. This is traditionally marked by the Russians trying to smash the place up, whether the air defense system will um, battle the Russian ironmongery out of the sky. I fucking hope so. Um, lots of kind of... <sighs> okay, so the, the picture as I understand it from the war is this. Is that the counter-offensive isn't going to change much this year because the West, especially the Americans and the Germans, have not given Ukrainians enough heavy metal to, to allow them to really move. But next year things will be different because of the F-16s, because the American tanks will arrive, because of a lot of things. But in the meantime, there is one piece of good news, which is that the, the, the Ukrainian army is now getting better with artillery. Now, the numbers, of, uh, the numbers are still very much in Russia's favor. However, however, the big news is, is that the Ukrainian artillery is now mostly Western and its quality is good and its range is better roughly 10 miles better than Russian artillery. And I was speaking to a friend of a Ukrainian artillery officer who was saying, listen, they're no longer scared of getting hit. So at least on that, Ukraine is w winning the artillery duel. Oh, and Vladimir Putin, do fuck off.